live from Stearns Wharf in sunny Santa Barbara. Today's recipe is apple pancakes. For avid viewers of my recipes, you may be wondering about the chain of events today. Well, we scored electricity because there happened to be a light post very nearby my iron. From that plug came 100 feet of electrical cord. And then we plugged an extension cord, another one, and then the iron, my trusty iron. This is an advanced recipe for you need to invert your iron. Place them firmly in a shoebox that you may have in a closet. Place a cooking pan on top of the iron and test for levelness. I think that's level. The iron is hot today, for we need it very hot to get through the vessel of our cooking, which today is a cast iron pan, and that's a very thick kind of item. The ingredients for our pancakes are an apple, because that's the apple part, flour, baking soda, and that's a little arm, and that's a little hammer, and I recognize this from when I was a child. Salt, sugar, eggs, milk, butter, and foil. A lot of foil. I always use foil. And I have toxic cooking spray as a backup because in the past I had some issues with that butter. You need a half stick of butter. And it needs to melt. But apparently I'm not level to the world, for if I was, he would not be tilting to one side. I'm going to place a towel to level out my cooking surface. There we go. Cut our apple one eighth an inch thick in a pretty circle, like that. It's pretty. Flick out the seeds because you don't want any seeds in your teeth. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then stick them in the butter. He's going to pre-cook. We need to have one and a half teaspoons of baking soda. And I leveled it on the top of the box. That's what the top of the box is for. In. One half teaspoon of salt and one tablespoon of sugar. Sugar. We need to mix and sift. But it's an issue today because we have wind at the sunny Santa Barbara Pier and the wind is giving me trouble today. It will sift out to the wind and I'll have nothing left for my recipe. That would be trouble. So I have to be very cautious with the way I sift. I don't like sifting. At home, I often don't sift because I hate it. But for a light and fluffy pancake, I believe we should try sifting. And we will just do the best we can with what we have at hand, which is a very windy day on the pier. I feel done with this part. Now we need to mix in our wet ingredients. I got a trick, and that's two eggs with no shells. I got shells in there. I gotta pick them out. That's not always so easy. Blech. And we need two cups of milk. One, two. And you tell your wet ingredients to stay in their lane. You don't want any mixing action to happen until it's time. Whip those eggs, whip them good. And now we're gonna incorporate our dry mix into the wet mix. Hey, we've got baking soda, and that's gonna react, and that acts fast, so I have to act fast and cook it fast. We don't wanna lose those bubbles, cause those bubbles make it light. Now comes the fun part. It's incorporating our butter, our butter that's melted with that apple that's been soaking in it. I'm adding in two tablespoons of butter. Wet butter, melted butter, onto the top. I see those bubbles. I don't want those bubbles getting away. Okay, okay, hurry, mix, mix, mix. This ain't my first rodeo, but sometimes it feels like it. We've got action, Jackson. Time to flip the apple. We need to cook the apple. The apple needs to be soft. I don't want a crunchy apple in my soft, fluffy pancakes. It's soft, that means it's cooked. I'm adding one quarter cup of pancake batter right on top. And I'm gonna hope it turns into a circle because I like my pancakes round. To match the apple, the apple's round. Now is my reflection time. I wanna reflect on my lovely time in Santa Barbara Harbor. It's so pretty here. There are all kinds of people walking about. Oh, a little boy, he caught a fish. Oh, that counts. If you're fishing and you catch a fish, that counts, even if it's small. I like visitors. Visitors are very nice. They often have stories to tell me about their lives in other parts of the country. Santa Barbara has many events that come to town. And this weekend, it was a classic motor car show. Oh my gosh, they were the most beautiful cars I've ever seen and certainly could never afford. I saw Bentleys. I saw a gunmetal Rolls Royce. I think I found the granddaddy. This is the one with all the powerful sperm. I saw Ferraris. I saw lots of Ferraris. I think Ferraris are my favorite. I like the red Ferraris. I know they're yellow too, but I like red. Well, I did not drive a Ferrari, but one day I hope to. And I happen to have met a Ferrari owner today. What's your name? Ricky Brand. Oh, Ricky Br Brand? Yeah. Oh man, he's another brand. I don't know him. He might be my brother. Are you my brother? I'm your brother. My last name is Brand. Oh, shut up. <laughs> I'm ready to go. Let's go. I saw a Dino. 
Dean doesn't name it a Ferrari. He is no longer the name of a dinosaur. Dinosaurs are now extinct. Oh, let's check on our pancake. It's freely moving in that pool of butter. We're ready for step two. Foil cooking spray. Spray your foil with that toxic spray. Have the wind take away the fumes because you will die. Place your foil on your inverted iron and gently move the pancake onto the foil, onto the iron, because I want it toasty brown. And you need to put a lid on it. Same deal. We need the cooking spray. I hate this part. Call OSHA. I can't handle this. It goes on top. One, two, three, flip. Oh, this is looking good. What happened on the other side? Oh, look at that. That worked. I love the look of that apple. Now we just wait for the other side to cook. It will cook faster, for we have removed that very thick cast iron pan. We have a round pancake. I want you to tell me what you want me to make next, because I'm making it. You may have a friend that's a shut-in. That person may be stuck in a hotel room or their bedroom. They may want to get in trouble in the middle of the night with an iron. I recommend that you do this at home. This is one of those things everybody needs to know how to do, is how to cook. Well, and if all you got is an iron, use that. I want to check if we're done this. Wow, that looks great. Oh man, those birds, they want me. They know that pancake is done. Here they come. Time to try it. Mmm, <laughs> yum. Like my recipe, and I hope you share it with your friends because I think anybody can cook with an iron, and I'm here to show you how. Subscribe to my channel and let's keep making great things with an iron, like apple pancakes. It works. Ah! <sighs>